Okay, so long jump checkpoints. I'm working on this portion with my athletes um, now to get them to understand these and how important they are. Thank you to uh, Urban Saladino for jumping and uh, this person for uploading the video. You can find it on YouTube. Obviously, good speed is very important coming into the uh, long jump approach. From there, first checkpoint is a flat footed penultimate step. This allows the hips to sink. Next part is a flat footed takeoff. You guys got to get flat footed. All right, very important. Maximum effort, maximum um, ability will come into your jumps. All right, checkpoint. Vertical posture, which is very important. Also, getting to your A position with the knee bent. All right, having the foot and the ankle underneath the knee is very important upon takeoff. From there, I would prefer this weak side arm to be back at 90 degrees or close to it, but um, I'm not the world's best long jumper, and long jump isn't perfect. Okay, so this is the first check point, which is very important. What we're going to see is this position later on. Take off from here, you're going to see this foot then relax. Now this leg does all the extra work to cycle through. The next checkpoint that I want to point out is the vertical checkpoint. This is where your arms are moving for balance. The trail leg is now starting to, starting to cycle through. Knees are aligned. Um, everything is more vertical in this part of the jump. Then from there you're going to see this trail leg then get to the exact same A position as you saw before. And as a professional athlete, he does a lot of things right. Now his leg is in that A position with his ankle below his knee. His arms are starting to swing through. His arms dictate what the legs do. Then he goes into his landing, which I will cover later on, but it's called the sweep technique. 